My name is Juan Carlos Olgado, and I'm the FISU Technical Delegate for Archery, and at the same time, I'm the World Archery Event Director. The organizing committee of this World Championship is composed by different groups. We have the local archery group, which is the people who deliver the, the sport part, what you see, the targets and the tents, and, and all what is the archery part. Then we have a group of people in the organizing committee who is coming from the University of Legnitsa. So they provide the volunteers and some of the infrastructure and the, the logistics. And then we have uh, the city support, which is providing budget and is providing some of the equipment like fences or like bands. So it's really a group of three uh, different elements, different groups, and that's what is composed the local organizing committee. And in my position as FISU, what I try is to make them coordinate and to deliver the event in the, in the level that we want. Hello, welcome in Poland. I am Oskar Rosa. I'm from the Polish University Sports Association. I would like to say you something more about our association. We, AZS, Polish University Sports Association, we are working very close together with FISU. Um, our, all our events are discussed with FISU. We are doing it according to the protocol of the FISU events. We, as the Polish University Sports Association, we have all been organized the World University Championships in Archery. It was the first event this year that we will organize for FISU. The second one will be cycling, just after the archery championships, and then we will have also chess. So it means that we will have for this year uh, three events uh, for the World University Championships. Uh, we as Poland, we are very active in this kind of matters. Uh, we are in the history of World University Championships. We have already organized more than 20 events, what, give us the, what gives us the second place in the uh, in the uh, history of World University Championships, I think only France is in front with one event more than we. But I hope that this year we will be equal, or maybe even one more than France. In an event like this, which is a worldwide event, at the same time it's a world ranking event, which has 32 countries, which have 206 archers and about 70 uh, officials, and controlled by 100 volunteers or with the support of 100 volunteers, it's not so easy to organize it. This, this means there have been several months working in meetings and preparation and plans, communication. I had an inspection visit one year ago. So it's, it's a work that started a long time ago and now it's the time of delivering the event. And in the delivering event, the important thing is communication and coordination. But there is a lot of planning behind and a lot of effort for many people, which we are very proud to, to be able to coordinate. Hello, my name is Hunter Jackson and I'm from the United States of America. This championship for me means an opportunity to not only represent my country but also my school and an opportunity to get to know other archers from around the world that I wouldn't have had the chance to meet before. My personal plans for the future, um, I'm going for a degree in the College of Veterinary Medicine, um, hopefully to specialize in small animal surgery or dairy veterinary and um, also to continue shooting. Um, personally, I think Poland is honestly one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. The tournament is well ran, everyone here is very friendly and very helpful, the city is gorgeous and I, would, I love shooting here. I think it's nice to get the opportunity to meet people from the other countries because shooting in the United States, um, you're mainly shooting with the same people and that's still good, but just being able to meet different people and seeing their culture and their style of shooting is also really cool. My name is Sarah Priels, I'm from Belgium. This is Julien de Poitiers and Baptiste Carcerio. To me personally, it's a good experience because I used to shoot with the adults and this is great, the level isn't that hard. So it's a good preparation for next World Cups and the European Championship at the end of the month. The city is really nice, the food is good, the weather is a bit too hot, but yeah, it's great. Hi, my name is Alexis Madrid. I'm from Mexico and I'm a student from CETIS Universidad. This is my first championship as a student, so this is kind of important to me. So being on my first year here and first final in teams with my teammates means a lot to me and it's a really, it's a result for all the effort that we have been putting on this, on this championship. In three years, I hope so, I will be graduating from university in child psychology. Uh, I want to have my own uh, consultory in well, do what I love, which is work with kids and help them in their families. And I also see myself in the senior team from archery. And I hope to still do what I like, which is my career and my sport. The, the three of us 
have been part have been part of the senior team from Mexico, so we know we have a lot of friends and we met a lot of people from other countries. We are in Lake Niza, first of all because there was a previous organizer, which was Brazil, who asked for this event, and when we're getting close to the, the time to deliver it, they were not able to deliver. They have some difficulties and they, they inform us that they were not able to do this competition. So then we start looking for different options and one of the options was Legnitsa. Legnitsa is a city which has been very supportive with archery, which is a city that welcomes people and wants to have international events. So we approached them with the idea, we told them the difficulties we have and they were very happy to say we are here to help and we would love to have you here. And that's what happened. At the end we could manage to come and we really feel welcome and we can see that what they are doing is the best to, to make us happy to, to have made this decision. Dzień dobry, nazywam się Józef Basiuk, jestem prezydentem 10. Akademickiej Mistrzostw Świata w uczniostwie Legnica 2014. Hi, my name is Józef Basiuk, I'm the president of the organizing committee of the 10th World University Archery Championship in Legnica 2014. Our city uh, was the uh, world capital of the archery for these uh, four or five days and uh, all the participants, officials lived were here, they were sightseeing, they were going to the restaurants, that's why uh, all uh, Legnica was involved, really involved in this event. Our, the biggest advantage was the fact that uh, hotel, the venue, stadium and city center was in the distance of one kilometer. Every sport event uh, has uh, their own, its own uh, requirements and uh, our every decision was supported by FISU and uh, also confirmed by this uh, organization. Uh, with all, everything was consulted uh, with them and uh, there were no problems uh, in collaboration. Now that you mentioned my, <laughs> my title as Olympic champion in, in Barcelona 1992, yes, as, as an athlete, top athlete I have been, and in my position as World Archery Event Director, I can tell you this, the event is in a high standard. Let's say that uh, if we rate the events that we have currently from 0 to 10, this could be a 6 to 7, which is quite high for a university event. The rest to our rights, the 10, is not a matter of effort, it's a matter of budget. So if we have more budget, we can make the finals instead of the stadium, we can go to a city or an iconic place. But for what they have and the event, it, it, it is it's really a high level event and uh, the archers are seeing that what is the archery part is really in, in an amazing level. Hello, my name is Maciej Waba, I'm the event manager for the World University Archery Championships in Legnica 2014. Organizing such an event, where, which is international, and the number of participants exceeding 200 of participants from 32 countries from over the world is a really hard job to do because we have to think of many aspects of the event. Logistics, accommodation, um, food, air transportation and other surrounding events like a cultural program, opening ceremony, closing ceremony, um, giving medals giving ceremony. Apart from that, the most important thing for the athletes, apart that they have to be brought here to Legnica, put in a hotel and taken care of, is the event venue. As you can see in here, we are in the big, big beautiful stadium in Legnica, which is new object. We used it for our archery event. We were able to put 34 targets, thanks to cooperation with World Archery. And using their experience, we managed to have a very nice view of the finals using setup, setting up cameras according to their requirements. It was streamed live on YouTube. Uh, it was streamed on the other uh, internet televisions. So thanks to that, many people who are interested in the archery could watch us live. The best recommendation for us that we had no complaints from the team. They were satisfied with the field, with the weather, with the results. It was the biggest World Archery University uh, championship so far. So in my position, I have two hats. I have the World Archery Director and then I take it out and I have the FISU TV. So it's, it is a good situation to combine the, the effort and the goals of the two federations. Uh, let's say that we were one of the first federations to join FISU and make an agreement to, to develop the sport and to make it stronger and better on both sides, in the World Archery side and the FISU side. And uh, the result of it has been that we were a, a little sport doing some World Championship. We grow in the World Championship uh, FISU event. And then we asked FISU to be part of the compulsory program in the Summer University. And after several years of being 
engaged. We finally got married and we are part of this official program. So we are since, 19, since 2019. So in this good collaboration, we achieved finally that in 2019, in the next Universiat that will be in Taipei, we will have our archery as a compulsory sport. And by then, we don't have World Championship of FISU anymore. It will be just every two years, the Summer Universiat, and archery will be present, and we are very proud of this. We are in the environment of university, and this, the age of this time is uh, people want to know each other, and people want to, to have this, instead of social <laughs> uh, areas of, of Facebook and, and Twitter, they want to meet each other. And we have a unique opportunity here in Legnitsa. We have achieved, and the organizer has uh, proposed that all the athletes, all the teams are in the same hotel. And this is something quite unique. In our events, normally they split the teams in three or four hotels. This is not the case here. And this has given the possibility to teams to, to meet during dinner, to be all together having coffee or, or chatting at night or in the lobby. So has created a good atmosphere that is quite interesting to see how different countries can, can have questions and have a, a social life out of the, the competition. But then the next day they come here and they, you see people having coffee, the Mexican with the uh, Malaysian and with the US, and they come here and they compete it, it against each other. And it's quite interesting to see that when they are in competition shooting line, they are quite competitors and you don't see them so united, but as soon as they finish the competition, they go behind the shooting line in the waiting area, they become again a family. So it's quite interesting to see this and bring very good memories in my time of, when I was a top archer, when, when we have this kind of family, that the, the sport was not so professional and was easy to, to have a friendship with, with all the teams and give me a nice memory of this, this atmosphere of family. Hello, my name is Toya Cerne. I'm coming from Slovenia and I'm shooting for University of Ljubljana. Uh, it's another great experience for me. Um, actually, I can see that my work is good, uh, so I will continue with shooting and uh, like this work. Um, and I'm honored to present my country and the University of Ljubljana. I'm studying sports, so yeah, I will probably, I will continue for at least 10 years and then we will see what life brings. <laughs> Actually, I'm here for third time now. Uh, um, and yes, I like it. I think people are kind and well, the championship was okay. So yes, I like it. I have a lot of friends in archery because I'm com uh, competing in other competitions all over the world as well. So, yes, I have a lot of friends. Hi, I'm Mauro Nespoli from Italy. This championship for me is uh, very important because uh, uh, I'm restart shooting after the Olympic Games in Beijing when we won the silver medal with the team and I had some problem with the competition after this, uh, uh, this medal because uh, we were very near, very close to the gold medal and one uh, arrow I shot uh, made, uh, made us uh, the silver medal and, and not the gold. So I had some problem and with this competition I had the possibility in 2010 to restart, to uh, come back in this uh, level uh, competition. After that I uh, won the gold medal with the team in London. My personal plans for the future are continuing sport. I'm an archer, an archer, I like it, I'm studying sport. Now I'm shooting, maybe I'll shoot uh, to Rio and why not Tokyo 2020. Uh, I like Poland, I like uh, this city, I like people, I like uh, everything here. This, uh, fantastic field, uh, a lot of church, why not? Uh, uh, many bars, many pubs uh, were, were fine and meet uh, a lot of uh, nice and very friendly person, people. I know many archers uh, before this competition and I uh, meet uh, new friends in this, uh, in this, uh, in this occasion. So may maybe from Korea, USA, Great Britain, Netherlands. Uh, we are very, we are many, so it's uh, nice when we are in the same place because we can talk, we can meet, we can um, talk about this sport, about our study, and it's very nice. Hi, my name is Hanna Mayerova, and I'm from Czech Republic. 
I have to say it was a very nice competition. Uh, tournament uh, was organized very well. There was no problem. Uh, we were satisfied with everything. Well, Poland is uh, next to Czech Republic, so it's very uh, close and it's kind of similar country. So we feel like at home. It's easy to us to talk to Poland, the Polish people. And everybody was very nice and friendly and helping, so it was very nice. I think uh, so many archers, they know each other from other competitions. And also in my team, they were uh, competing as a junior, so they uh, know a uh, few people and they are getting to know a new one. And uh, archery is quite family sports. Everybody knows everybody and uh, it's very nice. Everybody's friendly. We are very close to finish the championship and we are already thinking the next one. And the next one will be Mongolia, in the capital of, of a country which is very famous for archery, for the traditional archery. So we are very glad to go to Asia. We are very glad to be in Mongolia. That will be the last University World Championship because as being part of the University at FIX program, there's no more World Championship anymore. But we already start working for this championship with the delegation that is here. We had already some meetings. And from now on, we will start working to deliver the best University World Championship in Mongolia in 2016. My name is Jargal Seha. I'm uh, Secretary General Mongolian University Sports Federation of Mongolia. Championship was very really good and the record number of uh, participation country, the record number of delegation and technical side is very good. And we invited uh, 2016 next championship from Lignitsa, some uh, specialist uh, to the and uh, cooperation with the Mongolian uh, National University Sports Federation. Uh, Mongolia, a member of FISU, started uh, 1977. Mongolian uh, first uh, athletes participating uh, in Ursada Games uh, uh, six, uh, 1965. In Mongolia, uh, in the very in the long uh, time uh, history uh, cooperation with the uh, FISU. Every Ursada Games uh, participating Mongolian student. Also, this especially this year we are participating in 10 uh, World University Championship. Also, we organized uh, and World University Championship three times: uh, 2002 chess, 2006 wrestling, 2010 boxing. Our next championship 2016 uh, and archery. And see you, Mongolia. <laughs>